What is up, brothers and sisters? It's Jay Campbell, and you're listening to the Jay Campbell Podcast. Join me for regular deep dives with amazing beings whose work is manifesting a golden age. And remember, you create your reality by your focused thoughts, conscious words, and intentional actions. Raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. Hey guys and gals, what's going on? Don't ever wait for your doctor to order blood tests. With Private MD Labs, you can get your blood test prescription online in under one minute and go directly to over 4,000 lab locations in the United States. They offer every blood test imaginable at affordable prices with highly accurate results from tried and true state-of-the-art blood testing diagnostics. In fact, I've been using Private MD Labs for more than a decade. Their blood tests are much more in-depth and accurate than any at-home pinprick or worthless saliva test. Skip the intrusive doctor questions and get the exact tests that I recommend. Be proactive and get your panels today. Go to privatemdlabs.com forward slash JC to take 15% off your order. Send you guys love and light. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you might be around the world. I am Jay Campbell, and you are watching the Jay Campbell Podcast. And I'm very excited today to be joined by my two good friends, Carlos and Michael Bertinati. Guys, what's going on, man? How are you? What's up, man? We're doing great, man. Good to see you. Sunshine State. (laughs) Sunshine State. Uh, So, guys, uh, some of you guys that follow me for a long time know both of these gentlemen because I've done numerous podcasts and, of course, live events with them. But they are the owners of Medical Health Institute uh, in Miami, Florida. They have two amazing doctors, Dr. Rudolph Erbawan, whose podcast is actually running on the Jay Campbell channel right now, yeah. and uh, Dr. Amy Wecker, who I actually saw at A4M for a brief moment. But uh, both of these guys are extremely knowledgeable about hormone optimization, biohacking, how to run a clinic, and a, how to run a profitable clinic in the field of medicine in the scamdemic pandemic age. So it's an honor to have them both here. Uh, I'm not really going to give you guys their bios. Uh, again, both of them just you know, clinic owners in South Florida, extremely knowledgeable. I've known both of them now through Michael for almost, what, Michael, four years, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Close Back to, that. to 2017 is when I think you and I first met at AMG, yeah. right? Yeah, crazy. My, Almost, five years, moment. <laughs> Almost five years. Almost five years. Crazy. Um, all right. So here we are. Today is uh, Thursday, December sixteenth. It's twelve twenty p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We are in an absolutely turbulent world. Both of you guys are high conscious beings. We all know that where we place our consciousness is what we get. We can focus on the negative, or we can focus on the positive. But we're in very strange times. Like, let me just ask you guys for as clinic owners. In South Florida, you know, I just published an article yesterday, sent out to my email list about this latest article in Nature, of all places, that is talking about what's happening to men's testosterone levels, right? And we now know that COVID destroys luteinizing hormone receptors, which inevitably downstream crushes free and total testosterone. And so my argument is, and again, they cover this up in the, in the nature um, article, but you know, isn't it logical to say that a downstream, it's going to cause the same effect. And again, anecdotally, you guys know this as you see patients all the time, not you, but your doctors and you talk to them. Um, we know what's happening. We know that men are being decimated by the environment. So as I like to say, anybody in this industry now moving forward is in a really good place because we are going to get the opportunity to help hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people. So just give me your guys' ideas right now. Like, what are you seeing in your current patients that are coming in? So, yeah, like like you said, I mean, there's there's definitely some evidence that suggests that even the C can cause erectile dysfunction. So, you know, to your logic, um, we have seen some patients complain. I mean, you know, this is an area that is really difficult to talk about for men, period, right? right. So, you know, and you, I think you worded it right anecdotally, but we have seen, you know, people complain, you know, obviously they come every week complaining of both things, right? Not only the C and, and, and what they've been experiencing, what they call the post C syndrome, 
right? Uh, but even people after the V that they come to us almost like scared, like, hey, I, I don't know what I did, but I'm feeling all kinds of stuff. Right. right. They get the second one, they've come like, you know. Yep. Even, They're even dead. One dead one on their feet. That to me, the, the most that kind of shocked me is it, it wasn't just one or two, it was a few people um separately that you know it was this was the pattern that they they were perfectly happy people and now they were having yeah sort of these suicidal thoughts and that shocked me you know because i mean we could talk about this you and i you know we've talked about this a lot and a lot of this may sound conspiratorial but these are some of the things that we're, we're hearing from other people a lot of sleeping problems as well yeah I, I don't think they're conspiratorial guys. I mean, you guys are living it. You're in the trenches every day, day in and day out. I obviously am in the trenches. I get thousands of people all around the world who message me across all comms saying, Hey man, can you look at my labs? Yeah. This is four months since I got the, you know what, you know, yeah. guys in Europe, as you guys know, are almost forced. They can't travel. They can't go into a grocery store. They, you know, so, so we're in a very, like I said, we're in a very interesting time to be, to use the right terminology where people like us who are in the health optimization fields are going to get an opportunity to serve a lot of people, right? Yeah. Because now it's about how can we make people feel better, which is why all three of us are in this space anyway. But dude, it's not conspiracy theory. I mean, let's just. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just saying. Most people that are not right. really educated when they hear this stuff, they're like, "Oh, yeah, that's some you know conspiratorial." Kind well, of look, when life. Michael and I did our podcast, was it four years ago? Three yeah, years ago? Three years ago. We talked about chemicals. Yes, okay. and yes, the disruptors. We talked about the environmental siege. Yeah. People wanted to say it was conspiracy back then, and then Anthony J, of course, our good friend, wrote that book. Yeah. And it's like you know Mayo Clinic researcher, and here's the science. Yeah. We know that all the fish are literally turning female. They put yeah. male fish into Frogs freshwater too. streams. One year later, they're female. Frogs too. Frogs. So I, so you look at men around, you guys know this, you go to any major city and you look at a dude from behind who's under 25 and they look like a woman. They've got oh, like yeah. estrogenic body fat deposition. Yeah. They've got like big hips, you know, wide body fat distribution yeah. patterns. It's absurd what we're doing to, you know, the XY chromosome. There's like a hybrid gender now. We have a new hybrid gender that's being accepted by society that it wasn't around for the past 5,000, 10,000, as long as human kind Bro, you had to bring that up. You know, you know, you know <laughs> like there's actually a name for them. You know, I mean, again, I, I don't mean to disrespect anybody. It's just, this is very new. It feels like- That's a, why I love you guys. You guys just had to take it off the ra the, ra the the railroad track. I mean, come on, man. I mean, are you guys going to start changing anatomy and physiology book textbooks? Oh, wait a minute. They don't have books. No, I mean, you, no actually, books. You, actually, you actually get in trouble now if you don't use the proper pronouns, right? So it's, um, it's, it's a very confusing time for sure. I YouTube know. is going to delete this, but who cares? It's the Jay Campbell podcast. I can say whatever I want, but uh, <laughs> No, dude, you're right. You're right. Imagine you the kids growing up now. Imagine the kids growing yeah. up now. It's a, it's just it's now it's really changing our generation at a fast speed. But you know, to your point with the with with you know when you and Michael talked about four years ago with the chemicals that you know most people watching were thinking, oh man, this is really exaggerated. I mean, uh, not anymore. 2017, we saw the landmark study by uh, Harvard Medical that you know basically basically showed that men all across the globe had lost 50% of the, not only our, our fertility values, but our testosterone values in yep. the last 50 years. Yep. yep. And so, you know, the, the yep. unsuspecting male goes to his, you know, uh, in the box, you know, traditionally trained doctor that hasn't really seeked any further education outside of medical school. And they're looking at a reference rates that really is irrelevant because 1960, the average 80 year old dude was walking around with 800 levels. Look, you know, the cool thing about having a clinic is that every single day we're looking at lab after lab after lab. And today you'll be hard pressed, Jay, to find a 35 year old above 500. Yeah. I mean, that's the reality. Right. And, and which explains why you look at a, the landscape and all these kids and, you know, younger men are, they look like pears, right? Their body. Right. Shape. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Yes, the, the pear body, which as you guys know, is the most, most risk for disease, right? Cause that's fat over the internal organs, which right. causes all the diseases of aging. It, it, it really is a mess. Um, I want to get to your points and we will one, one last point on that is right now, you know, it's, this is my opinion, but there's never been a better time 
to consider testosterone optimization, right? Okay. It's the biggest tool in the tool belt. You know, you can, we can all go down the path and you guys know my course is launching, but we can all go down the path about natural adjuvants and natural intervention and do everything you possibly can, you know, naturally before you seek, you know, uh, you know, replacement or opt. I shouldn't say replacement optimization, you know, therapeutic testosterone, but it is the biggest tool in the tool belt. Yeah. And we are being annihilated every step of the day from the blue light, from the plastic, from even in our cars, the brand new cars yeah. you know, are electromagnetically radiating, you know, nice BMWs or Mercedes or Teslas. These are radiating our bodies. I just talked to a guy yesterday. You guys will love this. Don't drive Tesla. Yeah, the, yeah. The, 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 what is coming out of Tesla is decimating. Yeah, no, I, in fact, yesterday I was here because I, I subscribed to the Peptide Summit, and there's a specific. Yeah, me too. I was I was talking to him by the way in in Vegas. Yeah, it's like driving one big yes. EMF. Yes. <laughs> no, they're saying that the exposure of the EMF coming from the you know, I don't even want to say Tesla, but just electric. No, it's Tesla. The battery in a Tesla is destroying yeah. people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. basically, don't get one. <laughs> and, and listen, don't and, get and, one. And to your point, and to your point, I always like when you know when guys call us and they're kind of like you know on the fence about it. You know, they you know they've obviously listened to all the you know kind of um, dirty you know bodybuilding sort of marketing material. Of that's course, they're talking about testosterone and hormone optimization. And you know, I say, listen, if you're a guy. If you're a man or a woman on this planet in this day and age, you are, you said it right. You are constantly every single day from the moment that you wake up to the moment that you go to sleep right next to this thing, you're being annihilated by a number of different factors that you're not going to be able to control. Not if you live in this world, we're not going to give up our iPhones. Let's face it. We're not going to give up our computers. You know, when you turn on your car and the AC, you're inhaling micro phthalates. You're not going to quit eating fish. It's just... You're not, you're not going to stop putting lotion and shampoo. You're not going to do that. So, you know, this testosterone is just one of the many ways. And, and you said it great, uh, the hammer and the, and the tool belt that can protect you against the endocrine assault that you're constantly being subjected to. Personally. Dude, it's so funny you just said that. People say to me literally daily now, dude, what is the best shampoo to use with Oxano? And I swear to God, every time, guys, I say nothing. None. <laughs> Nothing. But imagine well, that. The, the only one that I do use that I could credit a little bit just because of the ingredients is as natural as you're gonna get is the M82 Science without the finasteride. Just M82 Science, which it has a uh, pedrome, it has a bunch of salt palmetto, it has a bunch of natural. But herbs. dude, I literally guarantee you, if you read in the, you should go throw it away because if you look in the labels and look at all the stabilizers and the particulating agents to keep it stable it's got Oh well that yeah that's a different story. So that's what I mean. This is that's what I mean. Like, all of it is it. garbage. But we you're right Carlos, it. you are right. We all are programmed through hundreds of years of technolo technological you know conditionment or conditioning yeah. to use these things. Yeah. Every agent has chemicals that dry out your scalp. Yeah. You know, if you if listen, I'll, I'll say this, and I've never said this, and I'll say this on the podcast, and obviously your guys, your audience will benefit from this too. The true story is if you're going to use an agent on your scalp besides Oxano, and again, obviously Oxano is a peptide that it enhances scalp health. There's no nasty chemicals in it. It's only, it's, oh, no, it, 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 it's literally big case in you and a color, a colorizing, you know, to keep it stable but there's no bad chemicals and then of course there's carbon 60 which you guys know what it is but if you want to use a shampoo before you use that you want to use argon oil or any essential oil and wow. only use that once or twice a week besides that wash your hair with water and by the way you guys already know this because michael we talked about this if you don't have a serious charcoal in-home filter filtration system in your shower you're also being annihilated from the shit yeah, the you know that, that's 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 a big thing so him and i um we were lucky enough we we you know dr david minkoff became a friend and we spent some time with him and you know he made us do a series of labs you know urine saliva feces all this stuff for for our guts and we had a consultation with him and you know we were basically poisoned yes. by glyphosate that every was every day every day you know, every single day. 
And we take our health seriously and spend a ton of money on our health. Yeah. So you can imagine yeah. the person that doesn't take this seriously, right? That's exactly right. I mean, I mean, it, again, that's why we're talking about testosterone. It is the biggest tool in the tool belt. It will solve the majority of people's issues when it's balanced and optimized, which is obviously what your guys' doctors do. Um, okay, so let's just talk about some of the things we're talking about. I love this. Your first point is learning to master your parasympathetic nervous system in a chaotic, fast-paced world. And I'll just say, you know, I'll move back here to the consciousness scale. The people who are in absolute enslavement to the fight or flight parasympathetic are vibrating in victimhood. Yeah, These yeah. are the people who literally blame everyone else, who hate their life, hate themselves. It's a constant fight or flight, parasympathetic nervous system. As you guys know, they eat like shit. They don't exercise. Their sleep sucks. And then it becomes the blame cycle. So this is a very consciousness topic because in truth, until you take ownership and you guys both know this and Michael, I mean, uh, Carlos has spoken about to me, you know, in, in profound ways about this until you take ownership for who you are as a being and start loving and trusting yourself, you are literally going to be addicted to the parasympathetic nervous. Uh, right yeah. on a rat race. I'll get into that a little bit because his story is a little different coming from yep. his nature and his background. Yep. <laughs> yep. From the bottom up, everything is beautiful. Um, I guess, you know, building the business in the last two years, I've gotten very stuck in the back end of the business doing stuff that I never thought I would be doing. Which sure. in the first place, I love to help people. This is what I opened with Carlos Medical Health. That's why you got it in. Yep. To help, not to be IT tech in the virtual cyberspace, lost, waking up in middle of the doing accounting. Exactly. Turning off fires all day and waking up inside the system in my head. That took a toll on me for a while, and I think everything has a reason. I'm supposed I'm supposed to go through it. Um, I am going through it right now. I'll be transparent with it, in the sense of, you know, leading into that, I started focusing on the things that I didn't like and all the problems, rather than hey, I'm, we, I am blessed to have a prosperous business, especially during COVID time. So right. I was vibrating in that red area for a while. <laughs> I'm no, you, but for you, bro, you're transient because you do have an inner work practice. I mean, look, we all do, bro. I have the same issues in, with this here. You know, you're, you're growing a business. Up and down, every day. It's brutal, day. man. It's a human experience. The ebb and flow. Right. Uh, so, but I'm going to, I'm, I'm being transparent to what helped, what's been helping me seriously. Um, first of all, you know, being in fear. I, I grew up as a kid, always grew up in fear. I right. Just, that was part of my nature and of course. I didn't grow up with a lot of faith because that was just not part of my culture or was sure. it created in my being. So I've always ran myself through fear and that fear got so big to a point that I started being in survival mode. And when you're in survival mode, as you know, the autonomic nervous system controls your sympathetic and parasympathetic. Yep. Yep. If I'm constantly firing and, and wiring myself to survive, then there's no time to assimilate, digest, exactly. plant, regenerate, repair. So in the process of losing my mind, um, I got to a point that I already had a trauma with sleep where I was suffering from insomnia, where if I was sleeping two, three hours a day, I would be lying to you. Like I was waking up multiple times and I know how much is my 100% potential. And to not be able to be at my 100 potential and feeling like you're running on a rat race, a little rat wheel, it was driving me nuts. Yeah. So sure enough, that's how I led to understanding very well, hey, if I continue to fire myself in the survival state, my brain is going to decompartmentalize and I can't even think straight. I can't even put two and two things together. That's how bad I was doing. So I'm going to show you actually... Let me show you real quick. This is part of the 2022 biohacks. Yes, this is part of the 22 biohacks. So there's a company called Green Wave, um, which I can get you in contact with them, Jay. Usually coming out of your wall, we it's about 300 to 700 millivolts of dirty electricity. Dirty electricity, yep. Yeah, so we might not be able to 
feel it or I hear it. it, but the smallest particle, the engines of our cells called mitochondria are extremely sensitive to this electricity being spit yep. out through the walls. And it goes back to your vibration, right? They feel yep. it and vibrate in a negative space. So. so if I'm already vibrating in a negative space, I am in a survival state. I'm in hyper vigilant mode. My body is going to be 10 times more sensitive to the electricity and EMF coming out of this phone and the electricity coming out of the wall. Uh, also, the blue blockers, which I use the, the orange ones at night, that I've seen a big freaking result with. Where now I'm actually sleeping. Yeah, exactly. yeah I got the swamp. We got the same ones. The same ones. <laughs> so I've seen now that applying these things, it's about two or three per room. By the way, when I measured the house, we had about 450 millivolts. I yep. brought the, the entire house under 50 millivolts. That's and awesome. Okay. Hey guys, what's going on? If you're looking to level up your life from a mind, body, and spiritual perspective, join the Fully Optimized Health private membership group today. There is no better place online to discuss hormones, peptides, fitness, fat loss, supplements, and even raising your consciousness with an elite tribe of men and women. You also get to speak to me directly every single week in the Ask Me Anything. Join today. Go to fullyoptimizedhealth.com and sign up and I'll see and talk to you soon. I got to add something to that. So walking around, and by the way, that's a great tip. Walking around at uh, A4M, there was a guy there. I forget the name of their company. They're in Florida, of course. They're like a conscious coherence. They're similar to the Rasha, but they got a technology that's even more advanced than the Rasha. And the owners, of course, know Dr. Jerry, but uh, he was measuring amplitude he was measuring emf contamination in every person who walked up to his booth and i you guys i shit you not holding a 12 plus or whatever the newest fucking bullshit is 13, 13. Or whatever, oh. it literally puts you over 125 base oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. you use their technology and you lay down on their thing it's 30 minutes or whatever and then they measure you and you're like seven but as you guys know we are in a toxically technologically contaminated environment there's no escaping it 100 percent, dude wi-fi routers your refrigerators you guys already said your cars electric cars charging an electric car i got the emf uh from your friend uh harmonized yeah, lance, lance yeah 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 i got him too yeah. um but it's I, I got it on my computer right here too but i mean again all of those things are band-aids the, the, re the reality is is that we are a contaminated environment yeah we are now like these giant sump pump batteries that the technology wires itself off of. Because guys, remember, we're energy and frequency ourselves. All we are is energy at base essence. Yeah. Right? So we're batteries ourselves. In our group, I think that, uh, what was it? I think it was the, uh, I recommend anybody who, who doesn't think that this stuff is real, read, uh, I think it's a perfect rainbow, right? Um, yep, exactly. Where yep. it talks about the... It, you know, it's funny because the first chapter, the first eight chapters, it's really hard to get through, right? Because it's a lot of like dense literature about yep. electricity and the history of electrosensitivity. But then it, it gets into like the actual practical. It's, it's uh, Arthur Furstenberg, The Invisible Rainbow. The Invisible yep. Rainbow. That's it. Yeah. Um, Mind blowing the book. Remember the picture, the picture of the camera that was pointing yep. at, at, at a, yep. at a vege vegetated little thing on the street, and the part yep. that was pointing at the camera was all dead. It's insane. I that wasn't. I mean, it's incredible. Just the bees, you know, the insects that they would they would just put a phone in a in a beehive, and the bees would die, and they they, they didn't know how to yep. fly. They didn't know where. So so yeah, it's actually it's absolutely having a huge impact on it. It's simple. If EMFs were to be a drug, the FDA would have kicked it down a long <laughs> time ago. If it were to be a drug, it would have been denied a long time ago. <laughs> we're all hooked. Yeah. It's, it's I mean, drug, they don't consider it that way. But if we were technically, let's face it, making it into a drug, it would be denied immediately. Carlos, you said it at the very beginning, bro. None of us in this advanced stage now are willing to do away with our gadgets. We're not willing to do away with our information. We want to know our stocks and our cryptos. 
We want to track our heart rate and our HRV. Yeah. Blah blah. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> Imagine I mean, I go to a meeting with a flip phone, Jay. I mean, you look at me crazy. <laughs> You'd be like, I'm not doing business with you. <laughs> well, look. I mean, I don't want to go too deep down the rabbit hole. You know, I have to go over and pick up my tinfoil hat, and maybe I will before this podcast is over. It's hanging <laughs> on the wall over there. But the truth is, yeah. is that humanity is walking a very fine line now yeah. between conscious de-evolution and the transhumanism. And so it's a perfect segue to the next point, which is using meditation to reconnect with your true and higher self. And let's be honest, guys, like all three of us, this is a part of our life. Almost anyone today who is successful in the matrix, because that's what this is. Oh, and by the way, it just randomly comes out next Wednesday. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm you can make it from your house. All you have to have is HBO Max. No, but seriously, if you don't meditate, and again, meditation can be contra- introspection, contemplation, grounding in nature, attaining that stillness, the ever-present small voice that you hear in total mind silence. You guys, you can't be, you cannot maintain stability. You will go insane. The world that is now around us, again, with all the transhumanism, the metaverse, I mean, my God. You, I mean, you have to have this inner work practice. Which of you, which one of you guys wants to talk about that? I'll, I'll talk because I'm the one that practices more than anybody. Um, so I, I'll keep it practical. Um, the, the point of closing your eyes and going into that meditative state, if you break down the word meditation, it, be, it means to become familiar with. Right. And it's becoming familiar with home, homeostasis. So when you close your eyes and you cut any sensory up with any distraction by nature, if you stay calm and try to bring your mind back to the present moment, which is breath in, breath out, eventually the science is there. It's undeniable. You will take your brain waves. As we know, we have delta, theta, alpha, beta, and we have low, mid, and high beta. So right now we're mid, high beta. So if you're constantly analytical, and this is where I'm being transparent to everybody, you know, I'm as healthy as it get. But when I was sleeping two, three hours a day, completely in survival state, I'm talking less than a month ago, and this has been an up and down battle for the past two years. Um, there's no hormone or peptide or IV that's going to make me feel complete. Thank God I'm on all of that. But even with all that optimization, I was feeling run down because I wasn't getting enough sleep. And I felt like there was a cheetah chasing me. <laughs> I, and I was creating it all in my mind. So one of the things that has helped was to, once you close your eyes and you're able to bring your analytical mind, which by the way, brain cells that fire together, wire together. So I taught my system to basically work, work, work. And there was never an off button. So I lost balance from being an entrepreneur. I'm trying to drill this thing and grow it to a point that I realized that there's just so much you can get done in a day. And I wasn't being humble and I was trying to get to the end goal in a day, which is not going to happen. So I trained my body to keep going. If I can 24 hours a day, even if I'm not sleeping, I can keep my body awake. So I was running on fumes. So that had a consequence to it, which was I was dysfunctional at work. So you can imagine that create that kept creating even more frustration because I couldn't operate at my best. And I know my best. So when I started meditating, first of all, again, now I brought the dirty electricity in my house down. There's no, yep. there's, we, again, we can't hear it, but I know by measuring with yes, the, water, of course. The, the sensor yep. that we have brought down the energy in the house, wearing my beta blue blockers to allow my body to convert serotonin into melatonin night, following my circadian rhythms and actually calming my mind down. I feel now I'm getting a solid, you're wearing the aura ring. I'm getting a solid Six, six hours and 45 minutes to eight hours a day, which that is making me feel normal again. The other thing that I've noticed is my heart rate variability has increased. The more yeah. you increase the heart variability, the more you're activating the parasympathetic nervous system, meaning you're calming down. And to give you real analytical, tangible evidence, my heart rate has always been for as long as I know, 42 to 43 beats a minute. When I bought the Oro ring for the first year and a half, 42 to 43 beats a minute. When I started going through all of this, my heart rate on average has been 56 to 58. I've gone up to 10 to 12 counts per minute. That's crazy. Now back to the 48 range and I'm little by little, I'm coming down. So to wrap it and bring it back all around, 
the meditation, since I'm somebody that I'm very type A personality, go, 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 and I've disciplined my body to not take a break, I have to remind myself meditation is to become familiar with. So I have to remind myself, hey, I do have enough time. I do have abundance in my life, and I am not going to die. So when I really connect to frequencies like, I don't know if you know, but usually if you measure fear, anger, resentment, frustration, they're two to four hertz. Someday I forget the measurement exactly. But when they're you low, measure, yes. What is it? What is it? I, I said they're very low frequencies. Very, two to four. I saw the numbers. And then when you look at compassion, love, um, uh, uh, joy, bliss, it's like... 150 to like a thousand. The difference yep. is enormous. So yep. from a from a common sense scientific point of view, if I don't raise my vibration, I ain't gonna die. That's how I saw it. If I don't raise my vibration, I'm gonna end up turning off my organs and I'm gonna suffer from dis ease. Right. So meditation, what it does to guys that have never done it, is very simple. You're taking your brain waves from being stressed out, analytical, sympathetic. <laughs> to down into alpha brain waves. If you're really good, you can bring it down to theta. And right. what happens, you basically turn off the neurological software so the subconscious can open up and you can start rewiring by just like a muscle, just like how we work out muscles, you have to practice being abundant, being filled, being joyful, looking at the good in my day. He tends to see everything that's good. I tend to see all the bad because I got stuck in the back end turning off all the fires from build, be, being built incorrectly from, you know, a gazillion different things in the business that are going wrong. Mm -hmm. So I tended to develop by mistake and without uh, maintaining aware of it, I ended up focusing on all the negative. And it's caused me to learn this whole new realm of, yeah. hey, you got to slow down and see all the positive as well. Right. right? We are kicking butt. If I look at other clinics, that are legitimately doing this correctly and putting the patient's self-interest first, I mean, putting the patient's interest first, always in focusing on helping and make, because at the end of the day, let's face it, we do this for ourselves. Yeah, We love this stuff. This is what we thrive on. So we're not just helping our patients, we're helping ourselves. And by seeing our patients, we have a fiduciary responsibility to spiritually to continue to improve and make that better for our clients. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to count the blessings of people's lives that I changed, not the money that I got in the bank account. Right. Or oh, well. Or yeah, we measure awesome, our success by our patients' results. You know, when I say we're a successful clinic, I don't mean by the money that we make. Exactly. We mean by the happy happy clients and patients who whose lives have been deeply touched and, and, and changed by, by the process. Um, you know, that was the technical, scientific, analytical side. Uh, to answer your question for me, you know, you know my story. I'm, you know, I've, I've, you know, both of us, you know, in our family history, we've, we've been subjected to a lot of trauma um, more than most people. So um, for me, it has really boiled down and, and he basically said it, you know, first of all, you know, there's a problem with awareness, you know, this stuff can creep awareness. up on you. And by the time you notice it, you're in the trenches, right? So yep. it's about developing that kind of awareness, like what's going on, like really asking yourself some deep questions. Because, you know, aside from the bombardment that we live with, with the chemicals, right. I mean, think about the bombardment that you get from emails, calls, social media, marketing, TV. I mean, it's, it's like... Insane. Constant, we're drowning. Right? I love the saying. We're drowning in information and starving for wisdom. Yeah, and, and so people. and the younger generation, because look, you you and I, Dave, for example, we didn't, you know, a lot of our lives were were lived without the assault of social media. But if you look at the younger generation now, man, it's like you know, there's so much horizontal comparison that leads oh them to God. be depressed. Like you know. They go on these, on these, I don't even Instagram. have a social yeah, media. He doesn't have a social, I don't even have a social media <laughs> for purpose. Rem right? rem remember the statement, comparison is the thief of all joy. And that literally is what is defining the youth of today. Because everything Correct. is related to the they bullshit. They go on these screen. sites and they're comparing their life to this, you know, exciting celebrity life that they see there. Or even if they're not celebrities, people who are just lying and putting the best parts about their life on them. And think that that's every day all real. And it's not, right? None um, of it is. None, none of, it's of it real. is. It's all a fake. But then when I compare, I, I look at that and then I look at my shitty life, 
you know, then I get depressed, right? So for me, it's it's almost as silly as like, you know, when, when you go to church and, you know, I'm an enthusiastic, unapologetic Christian, but um, it's like really counting your blessings, right? right? Exactly. If you're, look, what's right with the world and what's wrong with the world is always available. And if you're going to look at the wrong, you have to at least give yourself the chance to look at what's right. What have you done right? Or what is right in my day? And if you're really, 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 really honest about it, you can be grateful for a ton of things, even when you're in despair, in prison, or wherever you are. But look, just the fact that we're having this conversation in real time, you're in California, right. or we're in Florida, and I didn't have to create this technology and we're right. feeding with each other and gaining. That's something that I didn't work for that I get, right. and it's awesome. Right? Yes, exactly. And so to really stack the positive things in your life, and you know, like Michael said, it's been studied. I mean, there's a book, uh, what is it, 40 Years of Sin? I think it was this book study. So it, it measures the frequency. And if you're in resentment, if you're in anger, right. if you're in jealousy, if you're in all of that, you're going to feel that vibration. But if you're grateful, it, it opens it your trusts. brain to so many other possibilities. And so that's the kind of awareness to have. Too, and you know you're a big you're a big uh, ambassador to this that this is all a matrix like yes. you know, 99% of what we see is just an illusion yeah. right total it's, it's all an illusion I, I literally posted that on Twitter today both of you guys I loved you guys both because those were both profound statements I will say something two things I want to say is funny well one thing not funny but to to that point about with the kids I mean my own daughter who just turned 12 today happy birthday Gabby. Happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday. And I like your backflips, by the way. She literally says, you're, God, you. you're not verified. <laughs> that's what they that's say. What <laughs> he doesn't get it because that's your Instagram, right? I don't have Instagram. <laughs> you're not verified. But, no, but I mean, like, literally, to your guys' points, that the kids today, if you ask them, like, what do they want to be when they grow up, 95% will say a YouTube superstar. Yeah. yeah. And that's it's sad, insane man. how whack everything is. And then, Michael, to all of that long, rambling, amazing commentary that you stated, because it was all legit, I would literally say to wind all that up, stop defining it as negative because all of your experiences are positive. It's just positive. your perception yeah. Yeah, into what you're seeing. You and as they Exactly. Exactly. And no, everything no. is opportunity for growth and evolution. And look, dude, 100%. when I was your age, bro, I was in pure ego. I mean, I, I had to attempt suicide at 42 and have everything, you know, nothing, everything equals nothing, right? Because as you guys already said, this is illusion. Absolutely. Nothing that we sense is real. Yeah. Nothing. We're, we, this is what we consented to at a soul level to be here to evolve and grow. But at the base, you do have to lose all of the things to truly so, get to that let, place. Let me, let me just, that little piece that where I have seen the change is, when you're in a depressive or negative vibrational state, you tend to feel separate. You feel the dualism. Exactly. And we're all you represent you. But when I start vibrating at a higher frequency, I start to realize I am everything. Yeah, and you so, know what? It's funny. funny. It's you know what's funny about this? But like it's like I've actually to experience that, like, whoa, I am everything. Like to be somebody, you have to become nobody to be everyone. Right. You have to be, you have to go from somewhere to nowhere to everywhere. Exactly. You have to literally dissolve that past self and let go of it to raise your vibration. When you do, you think different. You feel different. And I've been experiencing that, which that's in a way very new to me because I've never practiced that in my life. Right. I'm being completely right. transparent. No, I, I, bro, it's you know, cool that I love you for it. No, you know I mean, it's you know, true. You know what's funny about that? When I saw him go through this, I told him, you know what you need to do, man? You need to drop that stuff and you need to get back on the phone. Just call yeah, one. Yeah, like I, I'm, just call I, one I enjoy generation. talking to clients. Just, I don't talk to clients. I'm the hermit right. crab in the back. Listen, yeah. just call one or two patients and help them, and I promise you'll feel. Yeah, bad. exactly. That's exactly true. I mean, what was the Course in Miracles says that when you're overwhelmed or depressed or you know stuck in the story and self talk, all you do is go and do an act of random kindness for another. Random person. kindness, and and it immediately you yeah. snap out of it. Yeah. Hey guys and gals, what's going on? If you're looking to use peptides, make sure you go to my number one source, Limitless Life Nootropics. For healing with BPC-157 and TB-500 or fat loss with Ipamorelin, CGC-1295 and AOD-9604 to immunity with TA-1, thymus and alpha-1, Limitless has a huge selection. 
Go to LimitlessLifeNootropics.com and use my code J15 to take 15% off your purchase. I send you guys tremendous love and light. I mean, that, that right there is literally proof that there is a God, a creator of all that is overseeing this third dimensional simulation. And that's a whole other conversation. All right. I want to get to some other stuff. You guys have some great stuff in here. Uh, I love this. The power of weekly myofascial trigger point therapy massages. Now oh, I have yeah. been doing, dude, I have been doing myofascial release, you know, M, uh, what is it? Um, AST, whatever, whatever uh, MFT, whatever the, the website is, but I've been doing this active release technique, ART, sorry. Uh, which is myofascial active release technique. I've been doing this since I was 25 years old and I fell randomly, at least at the time, that's what I thought, fell into it because my chiropractor recommended me a woman. Her name is Kathy Martinez. Shout outs to her. And I have been seeing her now for 26 years. Now, through all the nonsense of COVID and all the bullshit in LA County in the last two years, you know, I've only seen her twice since the debacle because, you know, she was limited and all this stuff. But Monica and I just started to go re-see her. But I had been seeing her up until that point every at least once a month, always, sometimes twice a month, depending on my injuries and stuff like that, for 24 straight wow. Wow. years. We, we just I joined that six months ago. <laughs> a year ago, sorry. More than a year ago. And, and well, I mean, the reality, the, the reality is, is if hard. you're a trained athlete and you build muscle and you work your body at the intensities that guys like us do, and of course women do too, yeah. you have to get the microfascial adhesions out of your body pushed out because they will build up and they do cause scar tissue. They yeah. do cause it's resistance. Again, we're energy and frequency at base yeah. essence. Yeah. And those yeah. things literally resist the energy, the kinetic power that you have flowing through your joints and your tendons and your skin and your bones. It, it and ties all everything stuff. together is the matrix that keep us glued together. It's exactly. Simple. And most people don't realize I, I started doing it because I've seen our clients, you know, 50, 60, 70, all the way to 80, that if you're going to live an optimized life, I hope, I hope, you know, it's just common sense. And it goes without saying, you're going to lift weights. You're going to work out your body. Right. And if you've been working out your body for years, as you just said, you're going to have adhesions. And if you don't break down those adhesions and break down that fiber that builds up, you're going to lose mobility. You're going to lose symmetry and yeah. the sense of the strength that you can output, because that's how I got into it, Jay. I actually had an injury where I, I wanted to do a pull-up and I couldn't pull myself with the right side. Or I would try to do bicep curls and my right side was pissed. It was off. And then I started doing these myofascial trigger point therapy along with deep tissue massage. Within four sessions, I was back. And I knew from that day on, you got to get one minimum a week. Yeah. Not at once a month. We've been doing them per week because we're as hard as steel. And I thought, <laughs> I thought by the way, I thought it was bullshit, right? Yeah. I thought it was just like, Whatever. No. Okay, fine. No. And he's like, no, man. And here's the science. And here's why. And here's the, da, 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 da. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I started going and we found this amazing woman yeah. who is in a massage envy, you know, the corner of her house. She's it's like, usually women that are the great ART. Listen, man, this thing, she's like a little yeah. rhino. She's like a little, little freaking Bill rhino. rhino. <laughs> and let me, for all of you, all of you guys watching, you need to train your mind because you're not going there to relax. Yeah, that, you're going real. there to work and you got to work through all that you know, breaking up of all. Dude, those my things. lady makes me cry every single time. Oh my time. God. Listen, really I wish, I, every time I'm doing it, I wish, I'm like, I wish somebody could film my face. I actually have a eye. pain threshold with numbers. <laughs> yeah. And so if it gets to a point where, you know, cause I've got torn ankles from playing basketball back in the oh, day and I've got so much floating debris like. and she'll get in there. And I literally be like, if I do that, like she knows like to back off because I literally can't even take it. I mean, you know, I can remove, I'm pretty good now at removing pain, but there is definitely a level, right? Where you're like, look, dude, I'm going to kick yeah. you. Yeah. You know, <laughs> if you don't like, you don't chill, but no, it, I mean, I'm so glad you brought this up. Cause I don't really talk about this. You guys know it's in the TOT Bible. It's in yeah. the agent of change, you know, yeah. active release technique. Anyone should do this. And by the way, 100%. to say it, if you get injections, well, at wherever you are, if you're injecting yourself for 20, 30, 40 years with testosterone, you know, you need to break up yes. the scar tissue. 
Yeah. From even the microdermic, you know, or the hypodermic needle injections, those cause yeah. scar tissue too. Even a tiny, tiny oh, little. Yeah, bit. I feel when she gets in there when I because I usually inject in the same place. Yeah. Like, what I feel it yep. when she gets in there. Yep. It's, it's incredible. Exactly. I, I'm a total believer, and and from pra from practical application perspective, feel much better. Like just my mobility. Like Mike said, I, I didn't realize how much my mobility my mobility was impacted. It's limited. By this stuff. Limited. Okay, sure. so we're going to shift now to reveal the big reveal. And by the way, I haven't told you guys this, so I'll share it with, with you now. It's perfect timing. All oh. is perfect in the universe. I talked to Ryan Smith for 20 minutes on Saturday, and I told him I was doing this podcast with you guys, and then Rudolph was going to you know, do the interview with Tom, and we were going to write about semaglutide and AO, AOD peptide 964. So let's break that out. Full disclosure. I have been doing this now. I'm on my third week. I'm basically 17 days in, and it is a profound uh, body composition altering and changing uh, peptide formulation that we'll talk about. So who wants to talk about this? I mean, well, one of the biggest studies, that I was kind of like the one that brought it on board for our clinic where I saw that uh, one of the biggest studies is within 10 weeks, the average participant lost, uh, had a 15 percent decrease in body weight which was an average of 33 pounds so i thought that was pretty impressive and the new science as it's pretty new the peptide well there's many different versions but this new one um has shown really good results on the ant as an anti-inflammatory for the heart for the lungs for the testes kidneys liver it is just phenomenal for uh inflammation and I, we like to describe your hemoglobin A1C as a marker of inflammation and oxidation. If we can lower that, we're literally slowing the aging down. Exactly. Right. And 1965, insulin was developed. Now we have something that instead of injecting insulin, which is just maintaining the sickness, we actually found something that can actually decrease your hemoglobin A1C that right. by making you just eat less. Right. So, as you know, we like to research and development everything before we roll it out. We tried it ourselves. And immediately when I took that stuff and I didn't have to think about food and I got full with eating half a burger. I mean, it was, I think, automatic that if you can help somebody who's tried every diet in the book and cannot stop or doesn't have enough of that willpower to stop eating and all of a sudden, you introduce something that gives them the, the, the support in order to, to stay on track with their diet and lose 33 pounds. Right. Then you can wean them off if you want. But now they got momentum. Now right. they got willpower. Now they're motivated. And then when you add the AOD, which induces a lipolysis, which is mobilization of fat, with a little bit of exercise to oxidize it, now you got fat just melting out of your body we like to call it the hook uppercut it's pretty it's pretty amazing carlos i want you to just talk a little bit about dosing strategies and i understand that you know you're giving dr eberwein's you know your 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 guys physicians uh strategy and you know i'll share i'm doing pretty much what you guys have recommended and again i'll share with you that ryan smith has been doing it now for seven weeks and he's literally blown away he said that yeah, he has awesome. never experienced anything like it Nothing I like it. it. And yeah, we it's like a breakthrough in science. Well, you well look, you he said it it's so effective, but he is questioning whether or not he should keep using it because he thinks it's going to actually, he's never going to eat and he's going to lose muscle, right? So right. that's a good, that's a good point. For fat people, it's obviously the holy grail, it seems like, right? For people that have insulin resistance and too much body fat, which is obviously leading to too much inflammation, inflammasome. This is something that subsequently is a uh, holy grail. But just can you real quick, Carlos, uh, you did a great job, Michael, summarizing what it does and what it is. But can you talk literally dosing strategy? Because that's what people always say to me. You always talk about these things and then you don't tell us how to do it. Yeah. So would you just so, kind of mention that? So the um, with the semaglutide, we've actually been very, very conservative, mm -hmm. right? We start patients on... Uh, 0 0.25 milligrams, 0 0.25, milligrams. 0 0.25 milligrams, which is actually half the dose of the FDA recommended right. dose, uh, because we don't want them to suffer what happened to us. <laughs> so we did the minimum required dose. And literally, Jay, for three days, I was just I couldn't even think about food because I would get sort of nauseous. And then you kind of build up a little bit of tolerance through it. 
Um, so we actually recommend that you start with the with the very very conservative dose just to so you can allow your body to adapt and and see how you feel with it because everybody you know everybody has a, a different threshold right so people are going to react different but we want to be cautious and so we always recommend to start at least the first injection with the lowest recommended dose um, which is either 0.25 to 0.50 uh, milligrams and then if you're going to do the combination which you know if you really want to go for the gusto and really burn some you know really focus on your body composition we focus on uh, also the minimum dose for the AOD because the AOD, you know, depending on your financial disposition, can be a little bit pricey. But um, 300 micrograms to start is is a great start. If you're a little bit older, we might we might take you up a little bit. But this is this is the great thing about our clinic that we're not a medications and go kind of place because if you go to a medications go place, they're going to tell you do this for four weeks, see you later. For us, especially if you're in semaglutide. We tell you, you and I need to talk every week right. because before right. every injection, because it's only a once a week injection. So before you inject the next week, I want to know what happened this week. How was your hunger suppression? How was it the first couple of days so that we can, you know, coach the person into how to increase it? Yeah. Right? So to, to give the doses exactly, 0.25 milligrams for the first week, four weeks, yeah. then you move up to 0.5. Then after you move to one milligram every three weeks, you can keep moving up until you get to the maximum dose, which is 2.4 milligrams. Right, right. Now that's for somebody who's obese, diabetic, right, 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 right. not necessary for somebody that is not in that. So know. for us, for people like us, because that's most of the people that watch this podcast, are you cutting off at 0.5? Is that where probably you stay at no we no. don't limit we don't limit it because again it really depends on 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 how you react to that you yeah. could you could be on a pretty you know medium dose and say oh i'm still feeling a little bit hungry and so we go up yeah no jay so listen we've been on almost three months i'm already at 1.2 milligrams i doubt wow. i'm gonna go, uh, go above all right so i should probably go up because i went up as carlos told me after two weeks to 0.5 so i went up to 0.5 this week but i'm still at night but you guys know i fast yeah, so yeah. I'm still pretty hungry. Like it hasn't really affected. Now I definitely am getting leaner. I'm measuring my skin millimeter folds in my belly and it's gotten leaner, you know, whether it's both or the combination. And yeah. there have been times where I was eating and all of a sudden it was like, I can't take another fucking bite. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the whole thing about losing muscle, yeah. I don't, I'm not losing any muscle. Yeah. It's just pumping the brakes on overeating that's right, 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 right. And, and look this is a very important i think this is for for the viewers it's a it's a very uh it's a very educational point right so for guys that are overweight not your typical you know optimized guy right um this is what i hear over and over and over he says carlos the bit the, the best value that i've gone out of this medication not only that i've shipped 30 pounds and i look great and my wife is happy but that i have learned to disassociate the euphoric feeling that I had around food and also to learn that I don't need as much food as I think I yes. do. And for me and for us, that was very important because like you, I, you know, we're always scared of, oh, I'm going to lose muscle, right? Um, and so for me, it was a lesson in learning that I don't need as much food as I think I do as long as I'm doing all, all the right things, right? I'm, you know, my testosterone is optimized. All my vitamins and minerals are optimized. I'm having my amino acids, all this stuff. But like you, Jay, I fast a lot, right? So when I do eat and because I train and because, you know, my high demanding self and I'm a big performer, dude, when I eat, it's like I eat my whole plate, the silverware. I want to eat the plate yeah. too. And so sometimes it's hard to control that. Um, and so this has, you know, taught me how to pump the brakes on it and be satisfied with, you know, just a regular meal. So it's, it's, it's a, it's an important, I think a, a breakthrough in science. And when it comes to pairing it up with AOD, like you said, when you're measuring your skin, that, that has definitely a synergistic effect. But definitely Jay, talk to, uh, Rudy, Dr. Everyone about increasing your dose. Yeah. 100%. Okay. I definitely will. I definitely will. I mean, like I said, it's working amazingly this is, well. Already. This is your, this is when you know your sweet spot. You know your sweet spot when you do not feel hunger, and when you eat, you get full like this. Yeah, you get full, and you're not thinking about food throughout the day. Right. He does, I think, what 0. 0.5 milligrams, and yeah. he's golden with that. I, I'm not. I need more. So I haven't gone up to that yet. There. 
I haven't gone up to that yet because next week will be the third week technically on Saturday, I think, or so. No, it's, I think it's Sunday. I think oh, you, you guys started, started to me on Saturday. Yeah, you what? just started. You're here at a time. And yeah, remember- no, no, I know. I, so I'm going to go up. Obviously, go low, go slow. But I did have, even at 0.25, I did have some times where I literally did notice, like, what the fuck? I'm not hungry. Yeah. Right? But when I was in Vegas, I was expecting to just totally be shut down. And I still have, like, some munchy times, you know. And that can also be because of the air in Vegas and all that bullshit. But uh, it's definitely working. Okay, the last bullet point I want to talk about. And by the way, for the audience... Dr. Eberwine and my copywriter, Tom, are going to be writing a huge article on this. It's going to be breaking probably by the time this podcast runs, it'll already be out. But just so you guys know, there'll be a lot of uh, science and a lot of information about how to use this. Cause I know I can already see this as being a game changer. Oh, yeah. um, you guys have the last point is sleep fitness for healthy hormone profiles, which again is epic. You know, I, I say this, it's in my course, as you guys know, if you don't get good sleep, you're never going to be optimized no matter what drugs, no matter what supplements, no matter how good your nutrition is, because you cannot get over the circadian rhythm disruption that throws everything else into haywire mode. Now I know Carlos, at least I think you got it. We both have the eight sleep mattress, right? Thank you. Listen, listen, I want to thank you. Next time I see you, I'm going to kiss you. (laughs) That's a game changer. That look, that's a game changer. But I, I had a conversation. I haven't told you guys this. I had a, a conversation with Justin Franson, who owns EMF Rocks, and he's like, "Look, dude, it's awesome that it's working for you, but it's also radiating you too." And again, it's a very powerful emitter in that you know modem or whatever it is on the right onto the yeah, ground. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, again, as we already said, you cannot avoid the radiation. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's a profound sleep enhancing agent. I mean, honestly, I'm with you, bro. As you know, I've been using it now for 16 months. As soon as I moved in down here in Marietta in September of last year, I started using it uh, actually 15 months. I apologize. Almost 16 months. It's radically changed our sleep patterns. I, dude, I literally now it's cold down here in Marietta. It's like last night it was 34. I wear sweatpants and literally i know that my temperature my bed is going to be six or seven degrees colder you know programmable and it's like i sleep like a baby yeah i mean michael you definitely have to get it i mean i mean it's going to change your sleeping too like not you'll never not have sleeping nights anymore ever no but but to be honest it's just that he knows my room is an igloo (laughs) listen I, i close all the vents and when i put the air on i put it two hours before and you get in my room it's 65 66 degrees yeah and I sleep. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't have the same problem I had. Yeah. I, I was running hot, right? Yeah. And, and yeah. I don't know what it was, but there was nothing I could do. My bed was just. Yeah, like, you're metabolically extremely active, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My, yeah. my, my, my. You're just higher like, vibration than Michael, bro. Yeah. It's just the I way wake it up is, in the middle man. of the night, and like super hot because of the bed was hot. But, you know, I, I took your advice. I said, you know what? I'm going to give this thing a shot. And you got bought the $2,000. It's amazing, dude. And let me tell you, man, I've been, you know, I've had a couple nights where I've gone to a hotel and stayed with my wife and, you know, we've gone and slept at at her mom's place. Totally different. It's totally different. That's when you realize the value of this thing. I know. Now that I have it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go anywhere without it. So I I, dude, every time I go on a vacation now, and obviously, you know, we travel and do amazing things and I'm blessed, but like. It doesn't matter how nice the bed is. It can't hold a fucking candle to the no, yeah, sleep yeah. mattress. It cannot. Which, which uh, to add one little small bio hack and to give you credit to your Royal Blue Serum, um, I, we just got the bio light. We have the rejuvenate, the big, big bad boy. Um, and I've been using it for three days. I've been using the sleep protocol. Yep. But after I shower, I'm actually applying the Royal Blue like Monica and standing in front of the light. So yeah, I'm going to let you know, I took a before picture. My skin is already better before even using the red light. But yeah. I'm excited to see what that royal. Yeah, it's an amazing combination. To do with the red, uh, red light, eight weeks from now. So- I, I literally, I just had a conversation with TJ Hoban. Shout out to TJ, who is literally the male physique champion of the world. You know, him and I are friends. You know, he's c- considering promoting Oxano. You know, he's got millions of people to follow. But we just talked today. And he was like, his problem is hair loss is on the top crown. You know, he's perfectly normal, but on the crown, he's balding. And so he was like everybody else, you know, oversaturating serum B. 
And he's like, bro, man. He's like, I can't use this shit, dude, because like I'm getting oily hair. I'm like, dude, what are you doing to get oily hair? He's like, well, you know, I spray it three times. I'm like, three times? You're bald there, dude. So the majority of people that use Oxano, and I don't want to make this a commercial for Oxano, is they do over apply. You guys know everybody in America is more is better. Yeah. You, you just need a tiny, tiny a bit. And again, yeah. if you don't have active follicles in the area, don't use serum B because it is a literally grapeseed oil extract, you know, version or base. Just use serum A. So I told him, I'm like, look, dude, if you just use serum A and you barely you know, put Maybe a tiny bit of so, so repeat and go that, like that. Repeat that, repeat that because I'm using yep. Oxano. I'm using both. Exactly. I'm putting the, the royal blue, the Oxano standing in front of the light. Yep. Then I'm yep. putting the paste and the oil. Yep. Yep. So, yep. But you're, wait, perfect, repeat, you're perfectly you okay. Just oil? go very light on the oil. Just go very, very light on the oil because you don't have that much hair. The people that have longer, thicker hair can probably do two sprays. You probably can do two sprays of the oil-based stuff, but again, massage it into the scalp and don't massage it into the hair. And again, so many people are so brainwashed by the Bosley Hair Institute to massage it into the hair. Right. It's like, no, dude, this is a scalp health product. The hair follicles are meaningless into the scalp only. And if you don't have much hair like you, and before when I had no much, didn't have much hair, you just use a very light coating right. of serum B. Yeah, with me, with me since I have... Hair, I have yep. to like literally go like that and go, yep. you know, on the scalp and, yep. and literally just put it on the brow. Exactly. Exactly. Just, you know, kind of like yep. it. See, that's the thing is we're going to be promoting it in 2022 to people, younger people that have good hair, because again, it strengthens the root of the follicle. So yeah, it's yeah. going to actually work in a preventative fashion if you don't have hair loss issues, because it will get rid of microinflammation. So there's yeah. a lot of ways for us to promote this that we haven't been doing which obviously, again, the you know the the lowest hanging fruit is people that have severe hair loss, but right. we do get crazy people. You guys, I, I should I'll uh, start forwarding you guys some of the reviews that we get from people. That, I mean, it's like, dude, you know, bald guys. I watched Jay's videos and he said it regrows your hair, so it's like I used it for thirteen weeks and you're a scammer. Jay's a scammer, bro. You don't have any hair follicles on your head, right? Now. What do you think it's gonna do? Like sprout new hair? You're bald. <laughs> I mean, we tell them a million times, like, if you don't have active hair follicles, well, what does that mean? It means if you shave your head, you can still see the hair follicles. Right. But these guys that have no hair follicles are like putting it on their head and then they're getting mad. And we're like, dude, you don't have hair. Yeah. You know, you, you know, know you're always going to get those guys, man. You guys know how it is, man. All right. Well, yeah. look, man. Well, I'm thankful. I love the product. I'm really happy with your product, to be honest. And I, I'm saying that from the bottom of my heart because I've never tried anything that f f simple. And uh, the GHK, I've worked with GHK because we work with compounding pharmacy. Yep. I've never smelled Absolutely. something that strong. Yeah. Yep. So I'm like, whatever yep. he's doing, he has the right stuff in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nick is a genius it. formulator. So you guys I'm get gonna, the I'm going to go talk to I'm going to go talk to Nick when we're done. So you guys get the final say, um, you know, right now, obviously it's been a profound podcast. We're going into 2022. You guys gave a lot of really good tips on how to, you know, biohack, you know, semaglutide, AOD, uh, meditation, uh, myofascial release, Reduce green wave, getting rid of dirty house. electricity from your house. Again, huge um, mastering the autonomic and parasympathetic nervous system, again, you know, through meditation, through mindfulness, through taking a pause, you know, loving and trusting yourself. What, what are your guys' final thoughts? Both of you guys. Yeah, I would, I would say this, man, you know, if, if you've been watching Jay, you already know. Um, and for those who are new to the channel, just listen, my mother always taught me knocking is not entering, right. And so living in a world like we're living in today, being subjected to all the things that we're being subjected do yourself the favor, invest in yourself and go get a proper lab, hey. a lab that is focused on longevity and optimization. Yep. Yep. Not the kind of lab that they give my 80 year old grandmother who's got diabetes and metabolic syndrome and they tell her that she's doing phenomenal. Yep. That's not what I'm talking about. Go invest the money and get a proper lab and find a company that loves this stuff. Right. That they're not just reading from a script. Right. That they're not just trying to sell you some product, but people who live, eat, breathe this stuff and just find out where you are. 
Yeah. That's exactly that, right. I think that's the best advice that I can give somebody going into 2022. You know, because now this time of year, people start all of a sudden connecting to their goals for 2022. Oh, I want to lose weight. Oh, want, okay, so do it. But don't do it like, don't just make stuff up or, you know, go to these social media events that are based on no science. Just look underneath the hood. Get a proper lab that identifies your biochemical deficiencies and address those. That's Dude, you can, you're, you're so genius that I'm actually going to, I, I cannot believe you said that, but I'll share it with the audience. This launched today. So I literally just announced my partnership with private. That's MD crazy. Lab. It's crazy. <laughs> Lord of God, check this out. So basic, intermediate and advanced. You guys already know these. I don't need to show these to you, but yeah. now anybody in the United States, because they're obviously only in the USA right now can get, uh, private labs and literally the fashion that obviously all three of us recommend, you know, if you're an advanced person from a biohacking standpoint, you get a 15% yeah. discount off of this, but every one of these things, if you're just a newbie and you never had your lab worked on, this is what you need to get. It's going to cost you 240 bucks after the discount. But yes, I do. That is the best advice ever. Yeah. There's, I mean, honestly, there's nothing better than understanding what you're working with. And too many guys have no clue. Right. And, and you know what? It gives you an objective measure, right? It really shows you how am I really doing? Because exactly. you know, you know what the problem with andropause is? It's the 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 frog in the boiling pan concept, yep. right? We get, you know, we do such a slow decline and we we just get used to feeling shitty and we call that okay. So, you know, our bar slowly begins to decrease and we just adapt because we're creatures of habit. Totally. We want, like the way that we want to live is we want exceptional to be the new normal. We want fantastic to be the norm. Right. And and you deserve that. If you're watching this and you're you've been a follower of Jay's and hopefully you get to check us out. Um, you deserve that. You deserve to live beautiful, living, vibrant health. And the only way to achieve that nowadays you know, and I applaud you and I honor you if you're trying to go at it alone and you're trying to go at it naturally. I did that for many years and you're going to reach an end of the road because you cannot right. control the things that you're subjected to. Right. And so these are not natural things. We don't work with any synthetic compounds. We work with everything that's already in your body, but we do it in a way that's therapeutic and that it's appropriate for you because everybody is genetically a little bit different and we've got to find that. Because you also got to be able to interpret the numbers on a lab and what you're actually experiencing. Because if yep. not, we're just treating a lab like Mike and I, we have when you look at our labs, we hope we have almost identical biochemistries with the same sort of related problems. But we have wildly different symptoms. Right. His, his low testosterone symptom was way different than mine. Right. And we react differently to certain medications. So you need to find out where you are. And that's my best advice for 2020. Yeah. Beautiful. Go ahead, Michael. I would add uh, sleep is see it as fitness. So don't think of just, oh, I got my workout and you don't focus on sleep and you try to biohack your way without sleeping. Your body was intended to rest and see it as a fitness score. So uh, see sleep as fitness, see food as information, not just as it's pleasure, pleasure. and it tastes great, but know that that food has to become you. So it's either you put 87 or 93 of gas. I consider my body a Ferrari. You choose what gas to put into it. Yeah. Um, look at meditation as a six pack for the brain, not, and for the soul, not just to look and uh, aesthetically with a six pack, but women at the end of the day, like a six pack in the brain way more than they do on the stomach. Yes, but if you do. can have both, that's even cooler. And if you're a nerd, even better. <laughs> um, definitely, as we said, exercise, the getting your blood drawn today in this world, uh, th that's one of the things that I want to close out with is there's no reason why to feel shame. Again, you see me, I'm fit. I had erectile dysfunction when I was 22 and probably at 20 that I was battling and taking pills. But at 22 that I remember for sure taking Viagra until I was 30, 32 years old and until I solved my issue. So to me, you can't trick me. It doesn't matter how fit you look. That doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean you anything. can still have ED. Now, I'm saying that to encourage you that if we look 200 years ago and you had this issue, 
or you had low testosterone, yeah, you're a freak of nature. You're a little weird. That's not normal. But today in the environment, after this entire conversation, if you think your low testosterone makes you a weaker man, then you, I don't know what the hell you're investing time. I, you're, yeah. You obviously didn't listen. So understand that in today's world, there's no way around it. You have to get optimized. We've seen thousands and thousands yeah. of labs. And every day we see younger and younger and younger men with the issue. Yeah. So there's no way around it unless you move to Alaska and live in an igloo. Not even. And different planet. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know. Unless you're living somewhere away from all radiation. So don't feel ashamed of it. I'm here to tell you that when you fix the issue, it feels right. so much better. Well, you guys know when you optimize, every man who's ever been optimized will look at their life as before and after. It's literally that simple. You'll never, ever not say that. You know, yeah, there are a lot of guys out there that have not ever been optimized. They've worked with sub, you know, substandard, inadequate doctors and clinics who don't, we're not talking about them, of course, but there's a lot of guys, as you guys know, out there that think that testosterone optimization therapy doesn't work for them, but that's because they were quacked. So we'll, we'll end the show. I know people are going to ask, can we work with you guys if we're not in the state of Florida? What is your quick answer to that? We you can. can. You if can. you're outside of the state, you have to come in and see us once face to face and we're good. If not, if you're in Florida, we can do the telemedicine. It, it also depends on what kind of medications, like, if, you know, sure. control substances get a little tricky. Um, but just, yeah, just call us. Call, call us, us because even if you call us, if they're listening to you, you know, we're going to spend the time with you. Even if you, even if you don't become a patient, that's what we're known for. We're going to spend the time with you and at least point you in the right direction because we care. Right. And just yeah. to finish, kind of close it out, Jay, and I, I you know, I got to give you a lot of credit for this. The great thing about starting, let's just say that you start with testosterone or whatever. It could be just buying supplements, right? When you when you adopt, when you start optimizing one part of your life and that works and that gives you results and your quality of life changes, this whole optimization philosophy of, you know, let's just talk about it in the physical realm. It starts to seep into all the other areas of your life. And now optimization becomes how do I optimize my emotions? How do I master them? How do I optimize my spirituality? How do I master? How do I optimize the relationship and intimacy with my partner, with my kids? Not just my body. This is a great yep. vessel, but it, it's so much more than that. And so, I, you know, like Miguel said, and, and thanks to you, I optimize my sleep, and now I take it very seriously. So, optimization is not just your body; it's a it's a way of life. And when you so do journey. that, and when you do that, you hit those blue and purple spots that are right behind right. you where you're vibrating at a much higher level because you become integrated. Right? That's exactly right, man. I love both of you guys. You guys are amazing. So you guys that are watching this, if you are a man or a woman and woman. you are seeking optimization and you vibe with all the amazing things that we just spoke on the podcast, go to the medical health Institute.com. Obviously there will be links to connect with them also in this podcast, support the amazing people support uh, Carlos and Michael support Rudy and Amy at Medical Health Institute. And remember, raise your vibration to yes. optimize nice. your yeah. love creation. We will see you guys very soon.